Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to recode variables in Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and load the Census 13 data set that comes pre-built in Stata. As you can see, it's a data set about the states, their birth rate, population, and so forth. What I'm going to recode today is the variable region. As you can see, it takes on four values, south, west, northeast, and north central. And you can actually verify that through the tab command and see the frequencies as well. What I'd like to do today is generate a new variable and recode region at the same time. Okay, So let's observe that northeast and north central are 1 and 2 in terms of numeric code. South is 3, west is 4. And we know that ordering even without going into the data set because when we do the tab command it's going to come out that way. Um, notice that the very, very first state in the data set is not northeast, actually, but when we tab, it starts out with northeast because northeast is 1, north central is 2, and so forth. So here's the code that I'm, I'm using. I want to go ahead and transform the old values, 1 and 2, in region, to a new value of 1, and I want to recode the values of 3 and 4 in region into a new value of 2, and then I'm going to generate this new variable. I'm going to call it new region. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I want to show you what happened in the data set. So I have this new region variable here and region here. Notice that new region isn't too useful to us yet because it's uh, just a bunch of numbers. And what we would like to see is actual text. You know, we, we, we want it numerically coded, but when we look at the data set, we want to see the text. So I'm, I've just gone ahead and done some housekeeping. And when you do recoding, you know, you're going to have to do stuff like what I'm showing you. So I think it's appropriate to, to go ahead and do all of this now. I'm going to label that variable new region. I'm just going to call it new region, not surprisingly. I'm going to define it so that what I, the value I created, 1 is north and 2 is just non-north. That's a mathematician and a logician thinking <laughs> where if things are either A or not A, I haven't come up with anything more descriptive for non-north. And I've gone ahead and labeled a new region with location. Notice that location is the name that you give to this definition. And so when you use the label value command, your first variable here is the variable on which you want to apply this definition. So the variable comes first and then the coding definition sort of comes second. So that's my code. I'll enter that. And by the way, you can always go to 272analytics.com to our page to the embedded a page on recoding and you can actually pull up this code and just literally copy and paste it into your own data editor to to see what it does or you could just copy uh, from observing me here. I'm going to do one more thing just to show you. I'm going to use the tab disk function here. I'm going to use state which is the name that of course the states have in this data set and I want to see them by region and new region. Okay. And this is just to kind of show you what my recode did here. So here are my states. Here are the census regions as they used to be, south, west, uh, northeast, north central, and so forth. And here's the new region as I coded it. So non-north and north. Uh, yeah, so basically you can see that in just a, in a couple of short steps, you know, I was able to do a whole lot. And if, if you write this code, if you are, you know, if you get experienced writing it, it would just take you maybe 30 seconds to write code that could do that for a variable that potentially has tens of thousands of values. So it's, it's a very rapid thing to do. If you don't know how to do it this way, you would have to go back in and do a lot of, you know, pointing and clicking in the graphic user interface, which is just not efficient and not a good practice. So I hope this, uh, this is just a way of showing you, you know, the possibilities of recoding. They're actually quite endless. You can do a whole ton of stuff. But this, I hope, gave you a flavor of what you can do with a basic recode and you know how you can accompany it through labeling of the variable definition and applying the values so that you know you can come up with something really neat like this at the end of it. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. 
That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.